Hi there. My name is Kenny Short, professional BMX rider from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Toured all over the country and the world, riding BMX and performing on ice skates even. Met a lot of cool and amazing people along the way and wanted to share their stories as well as mine. Welcome to Short Stories. Kobe, Japan. Here we go. Today we're doing something a little different. We're gonna do a day in the life of sorts. Nah. Hit up a skate park that's about a mile or so away. And after riding, I'm gonna go to my first NPB baseball game. Essentially Japan's Major League Baseball here. And gonna get the chance to watch Trevor Bauer pitch tonight. So that'll be cool. And even cooler about it is the fact that we'll be going on his personal invitation to come to the game. Anyway, I'm gonna go trek my bike down now. Um, so one of the joys of traveling like we do, here in Japan at least, there's a travel agency that takes care of our luggage. They transport them from one city to the next for us. However, sometimes things change and they don't get delivered to your room like they normally do. So this week, my bike and my suitcase are in a holding room, right? Part of the fun of traveling like this is um, you get to put your life in, blindly in someone else's hands and assume it'll come back to you. reception here and we're going to uh, find where my bags are. <laughs> Gotta follow this guy. I'm guessing they are behind this curtain somewhere. Uh, hi. 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 Thank you. Bikes here ready to go. All we gotta do is put it together and we'll be on our way. Here we go, 20 minute bike ride across this bridge to the uh, park here. Good. I mean, I haven't ridden anything yet, but uh, it's got some character to it. Well, the session's on. It is humid here. JP showed up and uh, he's playing on something here. Let's see if he gets it. Ah! Ooh! Might be a little hot and humid and sweaty out here today, but uh, I think we'll get some stuff done. Yeah. I yeah. think so. Got a line I'm working on here that uh, just need to piece it all together and then, you know, dot the T's and cross the I's. Yes. Just cross applesauce, baby. Thank you, my uh, new boy fish club right here. I got a Matsu cycle. Enjoy a shout out Matsu. Love those guys. This is one of the best things about going to skate parks all over the world is you get to meet awesome people. You my crazy, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> crazy Gaijin? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Alright, it's my new friend here I met. He's gonna gonna rip around here on the skateboard. Oh, JP borrowed his bike out. Did you do, do a little bike sport swap? Yeah, we did a nice little board swap. Woo! There it is, there it is. 
すごい Yeah! Look at this guy go! Good! Get it! Just barely got called out to drop in on the quarter. Let's see if he's got it. Yeah! Segoy! Very good. Come by, come by. <laughs> Hanshin. Here we go, we're walking up to the uh, stadium here and uh, I need to find the will call and hopefully uh, catch a little bit of warm ups here. Great day of riding BMX. Here I am in Hanshin, home of the Hanshin Tigers. They're hosting the Yokohama Bay Stars, and Trevor's pitching tonight. There's just a swarm of people literally recording them just play catch right now. That's awesome. Looks like he's just slowly backing up here for some long toss. So each throw looks like they're backing up a little bit more and more. So while I'm down here, I'm going to point out some more things that I've noticed that are different than in the States. So the All Dirt Infield, also the fall territory, I could be wrong on this, but it looks a little tight, like the playable fall ball area. Also the ball sounds a lot different off the bat. It really sounds softer. So it could be the acoustics, it could be the ball density, it could be the bats. I don't know, it could be a lot of things here. And uh, yeah, that's just a few things to start out with. All right, he's really stretching it out now. He's way down there in left field. Going all the way down here, this guy. So this is interesting too. I can't recall a time going to an MLB game where all the infielders were on the field at once taking infield practice like this. Like I remember doing that in like high school before a game, like just rotating out, but I can't recall a time in a major league game. So if I'm gonna get a chance to uh, say what's up to him before the game starts, now is the time. He's slowly making his way back down the line here. Uh, we'll Trevor, thanks for the tickets! God, I think he's got some music in. He can't hear anybody. There's something in his ear right there. Well, I can safely say I've never seen this at a baseball game before. So, when I was gone from my seat earlier, I, somebody came over and knocked my uh, Yakutari over. And I think they're bringing me new ones now, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> so, drinks, a little a drink girl? Oh, arigato, Striker ball. Is he going to hit it? No, he's going to hit it. Huh? Oh, whoa. Strike one! Alright, there we go. Jiggly puff glove and everything. Okay, this is definitely something I've never seen before. He, Trevor's on the mound for his warm ups for the first inning, and the umpire is down there right on the catcher's shoulder. That is insane. I've never seen that at a professional game before, or any game, really. This place just got really loud. These Hanshin fans are into this. I'm not gonna lie, I realize Trevor gave a home run, but this crowd is electric right now. Wow. They erupted when that thing landed. I must say, I do love the giant flags here. It's very uh, soccer-esque. I don't like it. All right, the crowd is really alive right now. They got rounds on second, third, one out, and 
they are fired up. They've been running this chant for at least four or five pitches. That right field section is so fired up. Like most of the noise is coming from that direction. Here we go, we're gonna walk the concourse a little bit and uh, check out what we got to offer here at Anshin. So you'll notice a lot of the things here are very authentic Japanese, which you would expect. And so we've got some croquettes here at this spot. One thing to notice is the concourse is very narrow. It's just like a typical hallway. The flow of traffic seems to be not too bad, really. I mean, granted we're during the game, so it's a little different, but digging the baseball uniform, that's awesome. Smoking room, that's something else see in the States at all. Over here, we got the yakitori stand. Look at that. Dang, this must be a popular stand. Look at this line. It just keeps going. All right, looks like another popular one here. Let's go, what's that, some curry? Here, you gotta get a little steak bento box. Looks like we got a base star stinger. So I've decided, being at a NPB Japanese baseball game, sushi must be found. I've seen people with sushi, I don't want to find it, but I'm going to. So this directory is telling me that space number 32 is where I can find sushi. I am here, and I have to go there. Well, there's something you know, see where they had a baseball game, like KFC. So apparently in Japan, it's a, like a thing to go to KFC for Christmas, which is wild to me. Because in America, it's like not really that good. But, yeah, that's how they do it. This is kind of cool. This is the Tiger Shop in the concourse, on the concourse at the stadium. And they are legit like selling Bay Stars merchandise, the opposing team. That's, that's pretty awesome. Well, I did it. I found sushi. Let's see what we got here. I tried. They were out of sushi, so we'll just kind of wander around some more. So this is kind of intriguing. They have different players and coaches representing these different bento boxes, and I might have to do it because the sushi's out. Well, so. They were out too. This must be too late in the game for all the good stuff. So we're just going to keep wandering here and check out the old uh, directory board and see what we can find that's not out. Oh, we're starting a new one. Here we go, here we go. That's so rad. I hope they pay him extra for that. Arigato gasen. Hi. Hi. Arigato gasen. All right, this is the seventh inning stretch. Here we go. What a production! <laughs> Alright, get cover ready to catch this small wall. Come on, mate, dude. We got this. This pitch is it! I love how they bring the pitchers out on these little cars. That's actually comical. How do they know when to like? Well, we're back to this one. Hey, it's Mikey Cupsnake over here. Look at this guy. Only hit a couple. Ball ball? Did you catch a ball ball with that? Right here. Send it. All right, thanks for taking the time to check out the video. If you like what you see, be sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more short stories.